Hi, it's April 13th and this is your daily devotion. I've been thinking about uh, dishes a lot recently, uh, hence the opening of this devotion. Anna Quinlan, when speaking about writing about life said, life is in the dishes and in pushing a stroller up the hill and in folding t-shirts and waking up to the alarm early and, and crashing into bed at the end of the day. Life is in ordinary stuff that take our time, that, that we have to do, that we need to do. Um, that has always stuck with me, life is in the dishes. And I've been thinking about that quote lately because of two things. Number one, we are between dishwashers. We took our dishwasher out that sounds like a freight train and we have not replaced it and I'm really missing it. And uh, the other reason is I have been thinking about um, when we didn't have a dishwasher when I was young, and that story actually came to my mind because of the scriptures that John used on Sunday. Uh, he talked about Psalm 133, how good and pleasant it is when uh, kindred, brothers and sisters, live together in unity. And the other one uh, in Luke 16:10, whoever is faithful over a little is faithful over much. When my sister and I were, um, I was elementary school and she was middle to high school, our main job, uh, one of our main jobs that we shared in the family was doing the dinner dishes every single night. And we didn't have a dishwasher and we got in a fuss every single time. And my mind, there was much injustice in the fact that all she had to do was wash and I had to rinse and dry and put away. I had three jobs. She had one job. It did not seem fair. <laughs> she thought her job was by far the worst and, and the most important. And it didn't matter. We were going to find a reason to fuss and fight. And my parents got so tired. Of, we were not living together in unity. And it was not pleasant. Finally, my dad said, Okay, if you guys can get along for one week, no fighting of any kind, no arguments in washing the dishes for a week, I will buy a dishwasher. Well, suddenly we had a common purpose. We had a common goal. And uh, I don't remember if we made it that first week, but we did get a dishwasher and it was wonderful. And I will be glad when we, I get my dishwasher back. <laughs> but I thought about that story because, you know, my mom and dad were not going to reward us with the responsibility of loading dishes into this machine and using it if we couldn't handle uh, the requirements of washing dishes with the soap and water. Uh, we had to show a little faithfulness and we needed to get along. Um, we needed a common purpose. Life's in the dishes. There's stuff we all have to do. And God is so good to give us options and opportunities to use what we've been given, whether it's soap and water or whether it's gonna be a, a good machine, um, to give us opportunities to do what we can do. Because we do have a common purpose and that That's kind of what it's all about, isn't it? Using all that we have, all that we've been given, all of our gifts to work together in harmony.
to live into the kingdom of God, which is the best thing for us all, whether we're washing dishes or folding t-shirts or worshiping in church or teaching Sunday school or helping uh, those who need some help, uh, giving a hand up, uh, giving a shoulder to cry on. We really do have a common purpose. And I think God is very pleased and we are all so much happier when we dwell in that unity of loving God and loving one another and sharing that love wherever we go. So I hope you have a great day. If you have to wash dishes, I hope it's kind of pleasant. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to when I get that dishwasher back. Have a great day.